everyone to Nikki Loves the Books. Nikki here. Today we do have a Page and Wick box to unbox together. I'm so excited. I am a little concerned that my box is so very, very beat up, like it's barely holding together, which is really kind of sad. So hopefully everything's safe on the inside. So happy to have an unboxing to do. And especially since my shelves behind me have been freshly kind of reorganized, I finally put up another bookshelf in my bedroom and was finally able to get all the stacks of books that were on my floor off the floor and onto shelves. If you guys are interested and want me to kind of do a tour of my bookshelves, please let me know because I would love to do that for you guys, but only if you guys want me to. And thankfully, I only have two more shelves to get through. So once that is done, then I can get back to doing my recaps and doing my book reviews. I'm really, really excited to kind of get back into things, get my website back up and really start pumping out those book reviews. I have a lot of books that I've read recently that are just like swimming around my head because I want to tell my opinions about them. But I just have been too busy with day job and then kind of getting this monstrosity organized because it was so needed. So before we get to our book and candle, I do want to say that I'm really hoping that this book I end up liking. I am new to Page and Wick. This is only my second box from them. And the first box was The Things of War. And while that edition from Page and Wick was so, so, so beautiful, the book was a complete downvote for me. I didn't really enjoy it at all, unfortunately. And I kind of feel like maybe I was the wrong audience. Like I love fantasy. But The Fangs of War was literally, a, it's, it's a war book. It's just about death and all the gruesome realities of war. And that is not something that I enjoy reading about. So I'm really hoping that I like this book. And I am going to give Paige and Wick a third month, so a third box, before I make my ultimate decision about whether I want to keep it or not. Because I love the concept. I love this idea of having a book with a candle. So that's all this is, by the way. So if you're expecting a bunch of goodies, that's... That's not this box. Page and Wick is literally a book and a candle. That's it. And I love this pairing because I'm like, I love books. I love candles. My candle collection is not as big as my book collection, but my candle collection is the second biggest collection I have. So I love me some candles and I really like pairing candles with books I'm reading. So this was just a fantastic idea. But the things of war really kind of made me reconsider. I just want to make sure that I enjoy majority of these books. I'm not saying that every single book that I get from Page and Wick has to be an absolute five out of five. Like it's okay to even be a three out of five. Like I just want to enjoy the books more often than not. You know, kind of like Owl Crate and Bookish Box. So I don't love every single book that I get from Bookish Box or Owl Crate, but majority of the books I do. So I'm really kind of testing Page and Wick to see do I like majority of the books? So first one was a huge, huge, huge no. So we'll see how the second book ends up being and then we'll get to a third box and I'll make my decision. Especially considering that Page and Wick is based in England, this is my most expensive box because of the shipping. The shipping is almost as expensive as the box itself. So I really have to kind of decide like, is this worth it even though I love the concept. So let's go ahead and get into our box for March and see if this is a winner. All right, let's get into our disheveled box and see what we got from Page and Wick this month. And actually, I shouldn't say this month. This is the March 2020. I wanted to say 2023 because I'm like, Bookish Box is still in 2023. So I'm like having a problem remembering it's 2024. So this is the March 2024 Page and Wick box. And the theme for our March 2024 Page and Wick box is Tethered by Blood. And our book this month is Sky of Fire by Madeline Carr. Before getting into all the details of our exclusive Page and Wick edition, let's find out what this book is actually about. Exiled from her home, Aaliyah, a half-witch, half-fae, conceals a deadly magic in her father's sun-drenched empire. Seeking freedom from the shackles of royal life, her fey half-sister, Sarah, leads into the free city of Naraz, but when rebellion strikes, the world is shattered. Amid the chaos, the bearer of death lurks in the shadows, bound to kill for his cruel king. His job is simple, assassinate the witch, Aaliyah. But an unforeseen rogue magic has other plans. After accidentally binding her life to the fey assassin who tried to kill her, 
Uh, Leah must survive as a new recruit in the brutal guild of Cruar. Meanwhile, Sarah searches for refuge and freedom in the most prestigious siren house in Varian, where beauty is both addictive and deceiving. As the sisters face separate paths, their brother, born and raised to be emperor, will do anything to find them, including venture into the rebellion. But as a greater evil emerges, only the fates will decide who lives and who dies. So already sounds absolutely amazing. And I think I'm going to enjoy this a lot more than The Fangs of War. So I'm very excited to start reading this. So getting into our page and wick edition, we of course have an exclusive cover. Beautiful stenciled edges. Foiled hardcover case. It is, of course, signed by the author and has illustrated end papers. And last but not least, we have our candle. So our candle says Shadow of Cruar, the Bearer of Death. And wow, that is potent. Featured candle is Shadow of Cruar, the Bearer of Death. A captivating oriental composition begins with citrus undertones unfolding into a floral core of rose, jasmine, and opulent saffron. The journey continues with a sensuous base of patchouli, amber, leather, vanilla, and musk. Very strong scented candle. There's, there's a lot going on here. Not too crazy about it. I'm not crazy about florals in general. But there's also something really enticing about it. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm just like, I, I want to stay away and come closer at the same time. It's a very weird feeling. Regardless, I'm hoping that the smell is just overpowering when you're near the candle. And hopefully when I burn it, or I should say warm it, because I'm, I'm getting a candle warmer lamp thingy. Just because it makes the candles last longer and it's safer. Like, I have cats and having open flame kind of makes me scared sometimes. But regardless... I'm hoping that whenever I warm this wax that it's not going to be so bad that I don't want to be in the room. So I will say that the candles so far are two out of two, both not great. So not a huge fan of their candles. So if I don't love our next box and if I don't end up loving this book, I think Paige and Wick is going to be one of my book boxes that I get rid of. We shall see. So when will I be able to start Sky and Fire? So I'm currently finishing up Lore, which I just started like yesterday or the day before. And Lore is an Owlcrate book from I think January 2021, if I'm not mistaken. I just have a few more books from Owlcrate that from 2021 and then I'm all caught up on my Owlcrate books near me. So currently reading Lore. As soon as I'm done with Lore, I will be switching over to Sky of Fire. Hopefully it's a good experience because the book is beautiful. I really like their stenciled edges. I think they do a really good job of making pretty books, especially the foiled hardcovers. Like, they're so nice. So I hope I end up liking this. Patron Wick is a really cool concept, but if I don't like what I'm getting, what's the point? So keep your fingers crossed that we end up liking this book because it would be sad to have to say goodbye to Patron Wick, but it's a real possibility at this point. Make sure to like this video if you want to see me do more unboxings. And of course, make sure you're subscribed to join me for all the bookish fun. I'm really excited to get back into recording and talking with all of you. So thanks for being here. Let me know in the comments below of your thoughts with this box. If you've had Page and Wick, what your experience was. I always love hearing from you guys. So make sure to comment below if you have any thoughts to share. Thanks again and I'll talk to you next time.